Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Side Hustle Enterprise. I am your host, John Maz, and this, of course, is Market Moves Monday. We have some interesting things to talk about today to go over and prepare you for the upcoming week and to kind of give you an insight on what may or may not be happening in the market. Uh, we're also going to be going over some possible manipulation. We're going to be going over some interesting Safe Moon article that I came across. And I'm going to give you guys kind of a walkthrough on how to turn off your share lending program with Weeble and direct you to another Reddit post that was posted a couple months ago, but has some interesting information on it in regards to what we're seeing today. So without any hesitation, let's go ahead and dive right in and cover as much as we possibly can. guys welcome back i hope everyone has had the opportunity to really you know take the time off step away from your screens recharge your batteries spend some time with your families have some fun kind of decompress uh we had a rough week last night most markets were down cryptocurrency stock exchange they were all in the red we saw some serious manipulation and i'm honestly in my opinion the manipulation is going to continue these hedge funds are losing millions and millions of dollars every single day and they have to do whatever they can and they're going to do whatever they can in, in, to gain as much of those losses back. So we're seeing some amazing price action and some price movement with AMC today. Some good green strong candles. It could be the start of the squeeze. I personally don't think it is. I think this is just a retracement of all the negativity from last week in regards to Wanda Group um, selling off a large portion of their shares and the FUD that surrounded it and all the panic FUD that we saw. Um, I think that Wanda Group ended up maybe selling a lot of their shares because of what is in effect today. The SEC has suspended black uh, or sorry dark uh, pool trading. So we're seeing a lot of these hedge funds that are no longer allowed to trade in dark pools today are coming to the market that the retail investors are in. And that's why we're seeing so much positive enforcement behind AMC today. Now, I think it's good. I think it's a good momentum. I really hope we can continue it moving forward. Uh, I think that we're going to get more of a spike and more of a positive direction move as we get closer to that share count on June 2nd, followed by the July shareholders meeting. So we have some big catalysts in the work. You know, we have today's date, you know, being the fact that you no know, no dark pool trading, and then we have the share count and then the shareholders meeting. So we still have a lot of things to kind of progress and hold up and build up the value around AMC. Don't get ahead of yourselves, guys. There's still going to be a lot of manipulation, and you have to be careful of it. And that brings me to my next subject about AMC. Not just AMC, but a lot of lending or brokerage platforms. I say lending, but a lot of brokerage platforms that are out there. Now, this article, this Reddit post that I'm going to share with you on Wall Street Bets page was posted about four months ago, but it has so much relevance today as it did back then that I thought it was important to bring back up with you guys. I did share the link over on Discord earlier today. Uh, I am going to put the link in the description down below as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at it just to kind of give you guys an overview of what you may be seeing. Um, so we always talk about shares being lent out and uh, that's, you know, what we're they're covering and carrying synthetic shares and so on. Uh, most brokerage accounts have some kind of share lending program built into it. Robinhood is one of them. Webull is another. And the, the list just goes on. So the article says, since many of you are looking at new brokers, it's a good time to see which ones allow the opt-in or opt-out shares lending program. Some brokers caught, you know, Robinhood is one of them. Uh, happily loan out your shares to people who want to short stocks uh, you own. That's what we don't want. We want to own our shares. We don't want our shares lent out, especially in a market like this. We want our shares to be ours. We want the shares to be in our brokerage accounts. We do not want them to be lent out. By lending them out, you're giving the hedges power. We want to avoid that as much as possible. So the article goes on, and he, the guy does a great job of breaking down a number of brokerages. We have I, Ally Invest, uh, BMO, Capital.com, um, eToro, eTrade, Fidelity, uh, I think Robinhood, M1 Finance is in here, uh, Public.com, Robinhood, Webull, and so on. 
and it kind of gives you a breakdown on what you need to do to avoid these platforms from letting out your shares. Now, personally, some of these, uh, the directions were a little bit difficult for me to navigate. Uh, I don't have all of these platforms, but I do have a few of them. I did make sure that my E-Trade was turned off. I did make sure that my margin, so for Robinhood, you have to turn off your margin and convert to a, tra a cash account. So I made sure I did that. And then Webull was a little bit difficult to navigate. Um, for Webull, you have to go, you know, account settings, brokerage account, more, yada, yada, yada. It's far easier to do this through the mobile app, number one. If you guys are using Webull, it's far easier to turn it off in the mobile app. Now, I do have it pulled up here as well. So in your mobile app, you're under your account settings, um, you're going to pull up your brokerage account, and then it'll say more. Uh, it's, it's hard to read sometimes, but it does say more options. Uh, you click on it, it's three little dots, and it pulls up this screen. Here's what you see. Uh, stock lending and it'll actually show you how much they've been paying out or how much what, what stocks are actually lending out uh, from your brokerage account mine personally it said i was lending out 80 my 85 shares 83 shares of amc i turned it off immediately once i found it i turned it off and i recommend you guys do that as well take the power away from the hedges uh you know ape strong diamond hands all the way this is a good way of mitigating or, or or limiting the amount of power and influence that they have by holding your shares and not lending them out you're taking away a good chunk of their power so I recommend you guys check out this article again I will post it in the description down below read it figure out which exchange you have and if you can if you want to if you're so inclined to do so turn off your lending for your shares and your stocks uh, get away from the margin accounts if you can get away from margin to begin with I suggest it for everybody and anybody Investing on margin is a dangerous path to walk. Again, something that I did at the beginning was trade on margin, and as soon as I could, as soon as I was able to, I pulled everything off of my margin, and I have a cash account with Robinhood, along with a cash account on Webull and TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. So, recommend you guys do that. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a financial expert. I can't tell you to do anything. I can only recommend and tell you guys what I am doing and give you guys my opinion and my beliefs on why I'm doing it. So that's kind of my take on the whole thing and what I'm thinking about and how I feel about lending out my shares with Webull and so on. Especially in the market that we're in now, it's important that we hold our own shares and don't give them the power that they are searching for. Be careful with the market today, guys. Let's take a quick look at Webull just to kind of see where we're at. So we had a good day our good morning so far we had a nice spike up we're coming up to that top resistance line of $14 if we can close above $14 we're in a real good position to keep moving forward again but this is not a bad price so this is a good price to be and we're seeing lots of retracement uh, based upon last week's you know downward kind of trend so optimistic yes uh, is this the short squeeze Probably not, um, and I'm still optimistic for the short squeeze to come in the next couple of weeks. Like I told you in my last video, I have told my wife that uh, I'm more or less predicting or, or counting on the short squeeze to happen within the next 60 days, not so much in the next two weeks. But, you know, that's me being super pessimistic and pushing it out as far as I possibly can to pay my bills, to pay everything else like that. So I'm not counting on my bills to be paid with this short squeeze tomorrow. Obviously, I'm counting on this to buy a house in six months. More or less what my mentality is and my thought process. So take a look at the charts. Make sure you do your research, do your digging before you invest in anything. And never invest more than you are willing to lose. You know, Don't be taking food off your table to jump into something that could possibly never happen. It's you know, Be safe with your money. Be cautious, do your research, do your checks and balances uh, before you ever get into anything that is risky. Uh, but that's my opinion. I did make a video about how much AMC shares I am holding. I'll try to link that above my head right now if I can, if my timing is good. And uh, I encourage you guys to check it out and you can actually see how deep I am invested in AMC at the moment. And uh, I plan to maybe possibly pick up some more shares and uh, dollar cost average a little bit. You know, I'm at a good price. I'm at around twelve dollars and five cents per share. If I bought in at this point, I'd dollar cost average up, so my share, my price per share would go up. However, I think I'm in a good position to do that. 
So that's my mentality on it. That's my thoughts on it. Be careful of manipulation. You know, be careful on the hype. Be patient. And uh, if you can, turn off lending. Those are my key points for AMC. Now, real quick before I let you guys go, I did want to bring something up in regards to SafeMoon, some positive crypto news. Uh, I did stumble upon this on Yahoo Finance. Not a site that I'm super crazy about using, but every once in a while they have some interesting articles. Uh, this one is about SafeMoon partners with Simplex, world's largest leading fiat crypto infrastructure, now offers integrated SafeMoon wallet for a growing army of SafeMoon crypto investors. Now, we saw a huge dip in SafeMoon over the weekend, over the past week. Main reason being that it is tied to Binance. Binance dipped, this dipped. That's part of, they're on the same smart chain. That's why we saw it go down so dramatically. As things progress and we get the SafeMoon wallet and we get the SafeMoon exchange and things like this happen with Simplex, the price will stabilize and will show some serious strength and resistance to the market fluctuations that we have right now um, another interesting thing about safe moon that i don't have pulled up right now is uh ledger kind of turned them down pretty much right and safe moon gave them a big f you and said you know what that's fine we don't need you anyways we're going to create our own hardware wallet so we should see that hopefully by the end of the summer was their announcement during the a their ama uh so we have some great news coming out around safe moon it's it's a growing community I'm a strong supporter in Safe Moon. I, you know, if you guys want to get involved in it, that's great. If you don't, I'm just sharing what I find to be interesting and cool news out there involving Safe Moon and other cryptocurrencies. Uh, I do still hold Dogecoin. I'm hoping that Dogecoin comes back and rallies up to a dollar. I'm a longtime holder of Dogecoin. I'm a miner in it, so I'm optimistic. And uh, the dip that we see didn't really hurt me all that much, to be honest with you. I'm holding. I'm going to continue to hold. I'm going to continue to use Doge. I mean, I use Doge on a daily basis. I mine it, I keep a portion of it, I sell a portion of it, and I pay my bills and I buy things, groceries, whatever I need to do. So I'm using cryptocurrency to you know, have a sustainable lifestyle. Um, I encourage you guys, if you could, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Look forward to my next live uh, stream on Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday. I encourage you guys, I really do encourage you guys to join the conversation. I want to know what you guys thoughts are if you think i'm completely off base and i'm a moron tell me call me out i want to talk to you i want to share thoughts and opinions i mean obviously i hope that you, everyone can be respectful and kind but i want you guys to join the conversation i go live on youtube i go live on discord so if you want to chat with me here on youtube that's fine or if you want to slide over to discord and join in on the youtube live stream as well and come on and talk with me one on one you can do that and I encourage it uh, this channel has been amazing I love you guys you guys are so awesome so I ask you guys to share the love not just with my channel but with other YouTube creators that are out there in this content space uh, we are doing this to help each other grow to help ourselves grow and to make sure that we take as many people with us as we climb to the top and it is a climb it's a strenuous vertical climb sometimes inverted and we just keep going keep going keep going keep pushing so until next time guys until wednesday stay positive stay optimistic uh, do your research and uh, hit that subscribe button for me and until wednesday take it easy have a good one